Tim and I were able to hire a stump grinder to come in and clean up the stumps that were in our new garden space as well as the ones we just created by chopping down trees. So the fun part was is that when we called the service, he was literally two minutes from our house with his equipment on the truck and he pulled in the driveway before I was even done with the phone call. We got Liz and Mark out there to help with moving the actual tree, stacking firewood, uh, all hands on deck. It was such a great pro productive kind of day. I'm pretty impressed and fascinated that this big piece of equipment is actually remote control. So all those video gamers out there, hang on to your skills. You never know when they'll come in handy. I actually got this bed all the way in, mulched in, I'll add a little bit of soil on top when I'm ready to plant. I did put some Swiss snow peas in there. I don't know if they'll grow, but anything to turn the green, get the green things growing is on the list. But look at what I did. Isn't that fun? The beginnings, the beginnings. So I planted my garlic in here and when i was fussing around in my other flower bed i accidentally pulled up a brassica so i put it right there and this is an old row of leeks that i had planted back here already so i'm trying to protect those and get them growing up a little bit uh, but with all of the stump grinding here and here that's actually going to be good soil it'll take a little while to decompose but it'll eventually be good soil in there with all that wood, chipped up wood mixed with the dirt. So it's kind of coming along. We're getting excited about it. Moved all the wood out, making room, and we're slowly putting in our big scraps here and we'll cover that in because this isn't gonna get grown in for a couple years, but we'll turn that into soil. Oh, it's so pretty, it rained so much. It's been so foggy. The water is really high. It's kind of fun though. So my garden is starting to come together. So these are all my starts that I had upstairs. Those are seeds, um, new things getting plants. So we got kales and broccoli and bok choy and kohlrabi and icicle radishes and a few onion sets to see if they'll pull through cilantro and mustard greens, celery, chard, and uh, Tot soy, tall soy, is that the right name? It's a new seed to me, it's a salad, and I spilled, so that's gonna be a lot. These are Brussels sprouts, fennel, and I got a few over there. Look at those garden hands. Yes, yes, yes. And my new fun, Tim is working on the fence, which is pretty cool. My new fun is 
I made little identification rocks that are colorful and I'm looking forward to making more of them because I actually really liked it. So I, I covered them, they'll last a few years, probably not forever, but a few years. And, uh, but I liked having those. That was a lot faster and I think more permanent than uh, markers. So I also planted some decoration uh, cabbages. So the ones that have the pretty, Cindy, are you walking through there? <laughs> So those will be pretty too. I planted them in several places. Targets would have been down river. The good ones in the shop, the other ones are up on higher ground. Things are changing. Tree down, tree down. The working guys are doing it. We're still working over there but there's my memorial garden and it's definitely going to get more light from up top here with canopy but we still have our full thick tree this one over here they said they were on this tree and they were tied off to this one with the little skinnier one that's right behind the green thing it's short it's a ash tree so this tree was bent over the fence. So they tied off this tree and they were in this one. And they said they usually cut the length of this tree and it swings and it makes them pendulum on this side. And they said that when they pendulum, the roots popped on the tree that they were on and scared them because it didn't have the give and take like this. It actually popped over here and didn't come back up. Like it, it looked like, felt like it could actually go over. So when they fell it, they said it was really good because this is the reason we were chopping this one is because it's close enough to the house to fall. I'm actually upstairs right now. I'm way down there. Um, it could chop. It could have fallen over. And uh, so, um, uh, super smart decision to get these taken out. This last big one that's back here. If it falls, it's going to go away. It's going to go that way. So we don't have to worry about that one for now. Um, but that's cottonwood for you. Cottonwood picks these wet bottom things and they usually live for about uh, 100 to 150 years and they start dropping branches and dying and they said both of these two were on their on their way out and so that's good decisions and so we have some cleanup to do uh, but even that we don't have to be in a hurry on and I can't see my garden super much from here but kind of a fun view time to clean up the trail so he has harvested out a full stack of wood there and cleared the walkway for us to use the trail. It's quite lovely. Say hi Tim! Hi. <laughs> oh and there's
there's a little peek at the fence. Let's see how he's got the gate down there. And the fence is complete all the way around now. So, yay. New greenhouse day. Yay. Fence is up in the back. Looking, starting to look like something. So it's coming together. It's lots of pieces. My husband's favorite work. Isn't that your favorite work, Tim? All the millions of pieces? <laughs> um. We are onto the panels now. Slowly filling it in. It's gonna happen, gonna happen. Enjoying all the pieces are out and about. Thing, right <laughs> missing the football game it's freezing cold Perfect. even the dogs cold quality time with the little lady <laughs> yes we'll have to modify the door because we raised up the bottom because we didn't want to sink the base in the concrete so we raised it up so we're gonna have to modify underneath the front door here but it's actually kind of good because you can see it's actually, he's six feet tall. It's not actually that tall. So it's actually kind of nice to have the extra height on it. And we'll make it work. Won't we, Cindy? Won't we make it work? Wise words? Anything wise to say? Yeah. Don't do jobs like this when it's cold. Is your fingers hurt? <laughs> And here it is. Yay! Happy greenhouse. We got our shelves in, my little table and chair. We're just getting started. Spring is almost here. So pretty. Working on a little tiny fake retaining wall for to make this space look even and I'm putting my lavender along the outside edge of it, which that'll be fun. Gives it some space. But look at that. Greenhouse. My little bunnies in the background. Yay. I have my beds prepped for some more space. Enjoying a slightly warmer day. It's so cute. Yahoo. Yeah. There is the new greenhouse that we just finished today. So we modified it. We did lots of extras. It came yes. as a kit. It had a piece across here. But yeah, we built it up. That whole extra wood portion is extra. It had a slide door across this way, which I didn't think functioned very <laughs> practically. So. so we changed the door around. It swings open. We did a nice little face here. Let's walk inside. Yeah. Oh, wow. Things are going to grow in here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be cool. Very nice. Thank you. There's a side view. Hippie and the new garden. Uh -huh. 